Hey Internet, it's me, Chef Lethal, here with what's probably going to be a short and sweet episode of Tasty Techniques. Now I know this because we're not really going to be doing any cooking per se, we're going to be doing a little bit of reheating. You see, last night, my wife and I ordered a pizza from a local joint. Now today, you know, I'm, I'm hungry and I want some pizza, so yeah, I could microwave it and have some sad pizza, or I could heat up my oven and wait 20 minutes to have leftover pizza, but that's all way too much work. Enter the solution. Now you may or may not know that right now there's this whole like renaissance on the internet of waffling things, and that's not an innuendo, that's just strictly using a waffle iron to cook or reheat things. This is obviously not a new concept, but I just got a waffle iron for my birthday a couple of months ago, and today is literally the first time that I've used it. So now, with you, we're gonna use it for my second time, and I'm gonna show you how to reheat this pizza. No whiteboard for this episode today, guys. Uh, the only ingredients you're gonna need are leftover pizza, and maybe some extra toppings if you want them, uh, and you're gonna need a waffle iron, and a knife, or pizza cutter. That's it, that's it, let's get going. Now there are, of course, multiple ways to uh, waffle a piece of pizza. This is way too big for my waffle iron, and I saw this technique on my favorite uh, food website, SeriousEats.com. I recommend that you go there. Go there. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I just have here a slice of New York style cheese pizza. I'm going to take the bottom here and flip it over to the top corner to make like a, a triangle, <laughs> an isosceles triangle maybe? Yeah, I don't know. And then I'm gonna cut off the rest here. Okay, and now, I'm gonna heat up my waffle iron. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I mean, it's really this simple. My, uh, my waffle iron is completely heated up, took it about four minutes. I'm gonna pop the lid open, throw the pizza in right in the middle, close it, sizzle, sizzle, and it'll be done in about 10 minutes. Be patient. Oh, don't think I forgot about this wedge of pizza. That's not going to waste. I'm gonna waffle that separately uh, after this guy comes out. It'll be like uh, an after snack snack. Uh, why not? Hurry up. I wasn't lying, you guys. Short and sweet. And boy, is it sweet. The outside's nice and crispy. The cheese is super melty. And it was done in about 15 minutes from start to finish. Now, my waffle maker does do a flip job, so after the first five minutes, I flipped it over so that the, the pressure was evenly distributed. But other than that, that's, I didn't do any work. Okay guys, I told you, short and sweet. And boy, is it sweet. Doing pizza this way, you may order pizza tonight just to reheat it like this tomorrow. Because if your pizza place is anything like mine, it tastes really great, but the crust isn't usually as crispy as I would like it. This way ensures it every single time. It's awesome. The cheese is gooey, the outside is crispy. It's like eating a fancy Hot Pocket. But that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I'm gonna get down on this pizza waffle here and get on with the rest of my day. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tasty Techniques. I'm Chef Lethal, and I'll see you next time.